On today's episode of Quick SR Tips, we're going to talk about selective detonation and how to manage it. So, selective detonation, an attribute that is listed as positive, but a lot of people see it as a negative. This is primarily due to the issue that with stock, you just hit right click and all your bombs blow up. With the SR, you're going to actually have to point in the direction of where your bombs are to blow them up. This can prove difficult in certain situations where if you really need to debt your sticky trap right away, with stock, you just hit right click and it goes. With the SR, there's that extra time of moving your mouse in the direction of your sticky trap and then hitting right click. The extra time of having to point towards your sticky trap could mean life or death. Especially if the sticky trap that they want to dead is not really in their sights. This brings us to the goal of this episode, which is to give advice on how to position yourself in ways to make it easier on you if you need to debt a trap with the SR, as well as tips to help you so that you're only deading the traps you want and not any more extra bombs. Now keep in mind, sticky bomb management through selective detonation is not an easy task. Even I, at times, will struggle with it. So the goal here isn't to completely eradicate the issues you're going to run into, but at least give you methods or tips on how to lower the chances of something going wrong. Now, it might surprise people, but I've been playing this game for a long time and I don't actually know what the technical radius range of the SR's debt is relative to your crosshair. Here's my little attempt at trying to figure out, but I've never really needed this information to help me. The key for me to set myself in a way so that I have the fastest time to debt a sticky bomb while not detonating any other sticky bombs I don't want to comes down to my distance relative to where my sticky bombs are placed. The basic idea here is the more spread apart each individual sticky trap I have is from one another, I try to play a bit further back from all of them in front of me. But if they're all like sticky traps that are close to each other, I try to play a little bit closer. My reasoning here is while I don't know the exact, you know, radius range of the crosshair detection for the SR, what I do know is the further away you are, the more likely you are to encompass more and more sticky bombs. Whereas the closer you are, the more likely you are to only encompass one or two. So if you're in a situation where, for whatever reason, you have to have a lot of your sticky traps close to each other, if you play more farther back, you're more likely to have the detection range accidentally lock on to a different sticky bomb from a different sticky trap. Whereas if you're playing closer, the detection range is more likely to just lock on to the specific sticky bombs you want detonated. And on the reverse side, if a lot of your sticky traps are very spread apart, it can be easier for you if you need to quickly get ready to death them if you play further away, because if you're playing closer, you might not be able to easily see where everything is to react as quickly. Obviously you would want to find a good balance. You don't want to play super far away from all your sticky bombs, nor do you want to play right in front of them. Unfortunately, I don't really have like a, a measurement or a reference point to use other than if you notice a lot of your sticky traps are close to one another, that may be a sign you want to play a little bit closer to them. Whereas if you notice you're really spreading apart where all your sticky traps are, that may be a sign maybe play back a little. Now up to this point, we're operating under the assumption that most of your sticky traps are directly in front of you, but obviously there may be situations where you may have a sticky trap behind you. Maybe it's to guard a sentry gun or a health pack that's behind you in case there's like a flanker or a spy. Now this is where things kind of tie in with a future plan for a quick tips that honestly might not be a quick tip, it might be a long tip on situational awareness. However, what I think I can say in the immediate for this video is in situations where you have multiple sticky traps that are not all in front of you, it's important then to get into the habit of kind of having like a patrol path where once in a while you check behind you, you look in front, and you kind of just cycle through a habit of looking there, then looking over there. Obviously you might miss an opportunity to get someone, but Given the circumstances, you just gotta go for the patrol strat. There's more to this, however, the deeper discussion to this is less about managing your sticky bomb debts, which is the goal of this, and more about awareness of your situation, which 
I think deserves its own video and is a topic I rather delve more deeper into than just this specific situation. Anyhow, for one final just quick tip here, if you find yourselves in a situation where you're holding a shutter or a doorway and you're fairly certain someone might walk through at any moment and you just really want to make sure you stop whoever that is, something I like to do is I'll hold down my right click button but set my crosshair in a position where it's nowhere near any sticky trap and basically wait for someone to walk through because and really anticipate it and the moment that shutter opens I quickly just swipe right away towards the sticky bomb. This could be useful in situations where you're only managing one or two traps but they're very important ones to hold and it's really important you pick off people who try and go through. So to kind of summarize in the end the big key here is recognize how spread apart all your sticky traps are and depending on how spread apart they are adjust how far you're playing from your sticky traps to put yourself in a nice position where you can quickly react to any enemies passing by while every sticky trap can be easily isolated into the crosshair detection range without looping in other sticky bombs from other traps.